So I don't think Oscar should be our benchmark and say, oh, we have to go and win Oscar. Because first of all, it is never, it's not an India's award. You know, and they have a category within the huge group of award called International Feature. So that is, and I think cinematic grammar are very different what they are looking for in films and what we are looking for in the films. I think, you know, it, it, it affected us in India when we were declared India's entry to the Oscar. Uh, not only, I wouldn't say just one movie, because there were series of other films also contend, uh, they were contender for, uh, uh, for Oscar, that they were hoping that they should be the India's entry. There were not only one, there were quite a few big studio movies, super popular film. And as I said earlier, that, you know, it's super passionate. India is a passionate country about cinema. So when their popular film was not nominated, it's normal that, I don't know, millions of people were disappointed. There was a, <laughs> you know, backlash. And, and we had to literally take police protection because we were getting violent, uh, call, you know, threat, you know, we had to take guards. Uh, there were a group of people just got together and released the movie uh, on internet everywhere, you know, and they said, we'll destroy you literally, that we will not, we'll make sure that by the time you reach release, no one comes to watch. We are at the second edition of the ongoing Red Sea International Film Festival. In fact, joining us today is the director of uh, India's Oscar entry this year. So let's begin. Red Sea International Film Festival is pretty young in the second edition. And uh, to bring this film, which has al al already you know, tested through multiple culture and ethnic group across the world, but we had not come to the MENA region, the Middle East and North Africa. So, you know, I mean, knowing that the film performed well from Iceland to Japan to Argentina, you know, being here to see how the audience will relate to the film, it's quite exciting. And, you know, it makes it even more universal. We were just talking with my team, my cast, you know, who are also here, that just we feel being here, we feel kind of a winner already to get this show here today, tomorrow. Uh, and also, Little bit we got used to winning awards because <laughs> we've got around like 20 now. So, you know, we won at Tribeca out of that eight our audience award. And just last week, uh, nine days ago, we won the, the, the best film award, the Snow Leopard at Asia World Film Festival in Los Angeles, you know. So, so I guess, you know, it's fine. I mean, you know, we are happy that audience can enjoy the film. Awards are just kind of milestone, I would say. You know, your film has the right direction, uh, best performances, the best cast, and also the right backing. So do you think the chances uh, this year is, is pretty much high for the Indian Oscar entry uh, to actually make it to uh, the Oscars and maybe also big ha have a w big win? So I would say that it's the financial backing is extremely important, especially in the modern time where there are so many corporations and such a huge machinery at work, you know, the publicists, the PR, the event management, the number of screenings, you know, so it, and also you are competing with streamers, you know, you are competing with uh, platforms and studios backed by huge multi-billion dollar corporation. Uh, so it has become, a, you know, pretty challenging and tough. And I don't think you can carry any campaign if you are not financially backed. However great film you can make, however great film it can be even a masterpiece or whatever, but without financial backing, you know, it will probably not go anywhere. Right. Your film is also referred to or also regarded, you know, as uh, a tribute to cinema. There's in fact um, a lot of uh, people, you know, who also drawn similarities uh, between your film and that by Steven Spielberg's. Um, you know, th the thematic similarities. What do you have to say to that? I think uh, it's somehow, you know, I was asked this question a couple of times and the leading Hollywood <laughs> magazine like just carried an article about it, you know, and they was just comparing two or three movies, which was uh, Empire of Light and Spielberg Fablemans and, you know, last film show. And in a way, I felt like honored that, you know, we are just being talked about in the same conversation. Uh, and it's quite interesting that 
some filmmakers like I have it's kind of introspection you know for every filmmaker so to some filmmaker I think it started when the streaming platforms OTTs were taking over others it started like with spin case of Spielberg as he said in his interview that it started during the pandemic he started looking back at his life so there are quite a few movies you know uh, about movies so one of the critic pointed out to me that first time in the history of Oscar there are like three to four movies from four continents which are movies about movies so there is one from UK Spielberg of from US us last film show from India uh, Inaritu from Mexico so um, this uh, I think the, the the what is great thing about movie and cinema is that we all have a very similar emotional relationship with cinema whether you watch movie in Japan or a countryside in India or in a drive-in cinema in the US because we are always getting connected to those emotional storytelling so somewhere uh, you know the movies about movies start speaking to audiences across the world uh, because everyone starts relating to their own stories I think I don't think it's a bad thing honestly speaking I've been asked because we should know that Oscar first of all the cinematic grammar of the West and the way we make cinema in India are totally different I mean way different you know we would have our songs and dance and you know the length of the movie the intermission so the structure of cinematic grammar we use to make movies is very different you know we have probably last country on planet where Hollywood has a very little market maybe less than 10 percent if I am uh, not mistaken there is no other country left where you know Hollywood dominates everywhere so we do have a strong culture strong passion for cinema and very often in India when this discussion starts about Oscar I read you know so much of <laughs> junk with people totally misguided about Oscar <laughs> Oscar is we have to understand it's a, first of all it's an English language movie academy members American Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences gives mainly Oscar to English language film that's their huge part of the Oscar there is a section which is called international feature this is where you know uh, most of the country are invited to some send one film so we do send one film you know and then you know our, our films are way different you know if you look at most of the history of Oscar the foreign film so called international feature which has won award they speak similar cinematic grammar you know mainly they are uh, largely they are from Europe you know most of the time and very few are from South Korea or Japan and even fewer from Africa or India or from so, so the because it's question of what these academy members are able to relate to, you know, because it's like, uh, do they relate to Indian cinema? Is it? It can be very foreign. It can be very exotic. Sometimes, are there enough code to understand? Maybe not, because I'm also wondering. So, you know, it, it's it's not that we are making bad film. It's not that we are doing anything wrong. I think we are doing right thing we are, have great cinema there's so many talented filmmaker in regional cinema is just blossoming you know people are making movies everywhere uh, so I don't think Oscar should be our benchmark and say oh we have to go and win Oscar because first of all it is never it's not an India's award you know and they have a category within the huge group of award called international feature so that is and I think cinematic grammar are very different what they are looking for in films and what we are looking for in the films so when the academy members vote their vote is driven by so many forces like currently this year for example almost every academy member is also pulled in by sympathy wave towards ukraine we have met people who said we don't care whether ukraine film is good or bad we are going to vote for ukraine you know similarly when Joyland movie called Joyland was banned by Pakistan you know so many members says whether we watch or not we are going to vote how can you ban a movie you know or some people will say it's about transgender there's a movie called EO it's about donkey 
So this whole lot of animal lovers are going to vote for that movie. <laughs> you know, said, okay, like this is, so I, uh, there are many reasons when people are voting. And when you bring deeply Indian stories told with Indian cinematic grammar, you know, it's not very often, uh, you know, uh, easy for academy member to access it, especially when they have to watch 105 movies from or 100 plus movies from 100 countries. Uh you know, there's also been a lot of buzz around RRR and it being the Oscar entry. Um, has that affected you in any way? Uh, I, I, I think, you know, it, it, it affected us in India when we were declared India's entry to the Oscar. Uh, not only, I wouldn't say just one movie, because there were a series of other films also contend, uh, they were contender for... Uh, uh, for Oscar, that they were hoping that they should be the India's entry. There were not only one, there were quite a few big studio movies, super popular film. And as I said earlier, that, you know, it's super passionate. India is a passionate country about cinema. So when their popular film was not nominated, it's normal that, I don't know, millions of people were disappointed. Uh, and we saw a huge backlash on my team, you know, like every in every country people celebrate when Oscar is chosen. For us, it was opposite. You know, we had a backlash. And I don't think it's from one film. It was several films because our uh, it's not even people's fault. Our movie was not released. No one had heard about it. You know, so people just jump to many, many conclusions that, oh, why such a film? You know, never no one has heard about it. And also what was said, they didn't even Google because we were in worldwide. We had already won 12 awards, we premiered at Tribeca, we won Best Picture at Valladolid, which is 66 year old festival, where after 45 year, first time an Indian movie had won award. And not only that award, there were big studios that acquired the film. That was already on Google News, like Samuel Goldwyn film in the US, or Shochiko in Japan, or Medusa in Italy, Orange Studio in France. But there was a, <laughs> you know, backlash. And, and we had to literally take police protection because we were getting violent uh, call, you know, threat. You know, we had to take guards. Uh, there were a group of people just got together and released the movie uh, on internet everywhere. You know, and they said, we'll destroy you, literally. That we will not, we'll make sure that by the time you reach release, no one comes to watch. So there were literally hundreds of thousands of links were available across India. My producer, Deer Mamaya, spent an entire day at cybercrime, <laughs> you know, trying to block this. So, you know, and, and instead of preparing for Oscar, five weeks in India, we were doing that. <laughs> you know, we were trying to say, okay, you know, and luckily, thanks to the release on 14th October, we started showing the movie to people. You know, we decided with, uh, you know, with, with the producer Roy Kapoor Films, Dhir Momaya, and say like, let's not defend ourselves, let's not fight, let's not argue, just show the film, which you normally don't do till the film comes out. But we did multiple screening. You know, the press was invited to watch the film. People were invited. We did screening in Ahmedabad, Chennai, you know, uh, uh, Hyderabad, Kerala, Kochi, you know, like private screening, just inviting people, media, whoever. We said, we know what we have done. You might hate it, you like it, but you watch the film. And that really worked in our favor because this is when the wave started changing. People say, oh, Chello Show is actually a good film. You know, and then that word of mouth reached a lot of celebrities, movie stars. <laughs> he said, have you seen it? He said, yeah. I said, oh, I want to see it. You know, and then Luckily, a lot of people supported us, you know, from superstar, from Bollywood to, you know, well-known writers and film critics and, you know, and now it's there on Netflix for whole of India to watch. Uh, it's in theatrical release worldwide. We have started already, half the countries have already opened the film. USA we and Canada, we opened on 2nd December, literally two days ago. We are preparing release for Latin America, South Korea, Italy, Japan releases on 20th of January. So I don't think in recent time, an Indian movie outside diaspora, this is very important word, outside diaspora have seen such popularity. Thank you for your time and thank you for speaking to us about the film. Thank you.